I'm busy. Are you sure you don't want to join us? Absolutely. What are you doing? Some light reading. I see. How was work? Fine. Yeah, the same. Well, I'm glad you're keeping busy. I saw Liz this morning. She told me about a great doctor she's been seeing. She gave me his number. Doctor? Like a therapist. Please don't talk to your friends about me. It might be worth a shot. Why don't you go on Monday and check it out? It's therapy, not a thesis program, Betty. Your dinner must be getting cold. James. James? James. Mm. <laughs> How are you holding up, bud? I'm awake. Incredible, isn't it? I got a director's meeting at three, so I thought I'd just pop by and see how you're doing. Do you need to ride back? I'll probably just sweep the floors and stuff. That's all right, I can wait. Ah, it's mom. Better take this. Do me a favor. Take these to the response room. Thanks. James? We need to talk. I said you look good. Thanks. Not true, but thanks. I'm engaged. Congratulations. And I finished my master's last spring, so basically living the dream. What about you? How's your PhD going? Is this like volunteer work or something? Well, actually, I dropped out and I work here at the job my sister got me. So, do you have any other plans? Well, I plan on killing myself. That's the direction <laughs> I'm going in my life. <laughs> James. James. James, I'm talking to you. What do you want from me? A little consideration? Mom's been really worried about you. She'll be fine. Betty's stronger than she looks. She called from the doctor's office yesterday. Her dizzy spells are back. She almost passed out at bridge. Did you even notice she started smoking again? James? James? What are you doing under there? I 
I thought you'd quit that shit. What about your heart? I can't hear you, James. <sighs> Give me one. As I'm sure circumstances have made it obvious by this point, I've decided to kill myself. I don't know when the feeling started. Part of me feels like it's always been there. Like, doubt. For a long time, God provided me the reassurance I needed to ignore these feelings. But as I begin to throw myself deeper into his study, I found that he could not provide the answers. How could I devote myself to a God that I no longer believed existed? I don't think I ever got the chance to grieve for my father's death. I remember your pain more than my own. The soft sobbing in the other room I don't think you talked for six months. I was so young, I couldn't figure out why. Jesus, if you want motivation for a suicide, try and write the letter. God is dead, but more importantly, so is my father. I don't know what's more embarrassing, the drivel I wrote or the fact that it's genuine. <sighs> you think you could do better? <sighs> there. Betty, I know this will hurt you, but what else is new? All I can do, alive or dead, is bring you misery. At least this way, there will be an end to it. You will get over it, James. Short and sweet. You like that? Gets the job done, no unnecessary theatrics. Although that's a little hypocritical coming from you. Welcome back, James. Hey. Don't be mad, okay? But I made you an appointment with that therapist on Tuesday. Debbie said you had the day off. Fine. I'll go. You'll go? Yeah. What time is it? It's at 4 o'clock. I can drive you if you want. Right. Well, there's no need for any of that right now. You went to the store? Yeah, I needed supplies for our new project I'm working on. Sounds interesting. Uh, what kind of a project? It's funny. I'll have something to show you really soon. This one's too sloppy. Too formal. Too pretentious. Do I really want to be the guy who uses Comic Sans in a suicide note? In this paper, I should use ivory, not white.
James. 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 It's mom. She's not okay. Hey, you too. It's good to see you. Of course, Mom. It's always good to see you. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just a little chest pain. It's nothing. Yeah, nothing. I still kicked ass with it, though I was three under after nine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the paramedics are already here. You're gonna be okay. Cousin Jessica says she has a place I can stay at. Is, is that what you want to do? I mean, do you want to move out? I just figure you don't want me around as much, you know? If that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But it's really no rush. It's nice having you around. Yeah. You planning on staying at the museum? For a while, at least. I mean, I'll find something else eventually, but... Clancy, this is Dr. Clark's office. We're just calling because last week you made an appointment for a James Clancy, but um, he didn't show up. Just calling to see if you wanted to reschedule. 